Aching Makers! Today we're going to be taking you behind the scenes at Audio Socket to talk about their new sponsorship with King of the Web. We'll be hearing some live tunes from Tess Henley and Carson Henley, and I'll be chatting with their president, Jen, about the new prizes for music and vlogging. Which way to Hollywood? I would tell you if I could. First things first, tell me a little bit about Audio Socket. Sure. Audio Socket is a music and technology licensing company. So we get music to anybody that needs it. Content creators at large, but specifically in traditional, we do film, television, video games. And then we actually have a product called Mass, Music as a Service, and it facilitates deals between digital media companies like gaming companies, mobile apps, and independent artists. How would one get onto the Audio Socket roster? We do have an open audition process for the Audio Socket roster. It is selective. We accept about two to three percent of the artists that submit. So what sort of things are the Music King actually going to be receiving from you guys? So the Music King gets fast-tracked into the roster. Uh, they also are promoted by Audio Socket, and that can be through a variety of different ways. We have client newsletters that go out to over 5,000 clients globally that are working in film and television and video games. We have a blog, we have viral marketing. So a lot of different promotional strategies that we have to really pitch these artists' music. What we're trying to do is really um, create a great value for those that are accepted onto the roster where we're, we have about a 50% placement rate every check run. We just opened up a storefront on King of the Web, so vloggers, uh, casual content creators, um, YouTube partners can legally license great music for $5 a track. And now the King of the Web winner of Film and Vlog get a $500 gift card to the store so they can access some of this music for their videos. That is correct, yeah. So we're basically opening up our roster for them to select music really for um, personal or professional use. We have licenses that cover all the categories. How do you guys make sure that you're getting people quality music? You know, since day one, our approach has always been a very boutique approach. And ours is an A&R strategy versus a you know, opening up the floodgates to all of the content out there. Um, so what we do is we follow music blogs and we follow venues and then we go after the music that we want to represent. And that's why we accept such a small percentage of the open auditions is because we're really going after trending artists and um, I think our reputation has, has come to be known as that of quality. Tess and Carson Henley are coming in today. These guys are blowing up. Um, they're actually huge in Japan. <laughs> uh, they just won a $25,000 Budweiser contest for Best New Artist. And Dave Matthews apparently called them recently to chat. So um, I know they've been hit up by a lot of songwriters um, looking for, for them to collaborate. I mean, I think we're really carving out an, a, a unique niche in the new music ecosystem. And small transactions are adding up in a meaningful way when you pair them up with people like YouTube partners. Well, we're really excited to be paired with you guys. And thank you so much for chatting with me. Yeah, thank you. We're so excited to have you guys here and hope you enjoy the show. This is called Above. Mm -hmm. 